What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So over the past week, I have been giving out some of my Olympic rosters for the 2026 Games. I've done the United States. I've done Canada. So it is time to head over to Europe, and we are starting with Sweden, the presumed kind of third best team. And this is a very deep team that has absolutely no holes. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to go line by line, pair by pair, tandem, and then the extras. Up first, the first line, I have Philip Forsberg, Elias Pedersen and William Nylander. I think that these are probably the three best forwards, at least the three best forwards right now. And these guys are all still kind of young. Forsberg is either like 28 or 29. So in two years, he's still going to be very elite. But I really like the overall dynamic of this line. You have the fantastic two-way playmaking center in Elias Pedersen. You have the freak playmaker, kind of all offense guy in William Nylander. And then Philip Forsberg would kind of be your goal scorer on this line. This guy has put up 40 goal pace a bunch of times in his career. Not saying Pedersen and Nylander also aren't good goal scorers in their own right but I think all these three guys bring different things to the table and overall it would form a very good line for Sweden to be rolling out in terms of a first line second line Leo Carlson I guess I think in two years he's probably going to be the second best Swedish center in the entire NHL right now he's already playing 18 minutes a night on pace for like 50 ish points so in two years maybe not absolute top 30 player in the entire NHL. But in two years, I think he's going to be a point per game two-way guy. Then we got Jesper Bratt, one of the best players in transition in the entire NHL, as well as Mika Zibanejad, who hasn't been that good in terms of five on five this year, but still has an absolutely lethal shot and is a good offensive player. Similarly to that other line, I think there's a lot of different pieces in this line that overall form a very good one. Again, speaking of Bratt, the speedy winger, the two-way reliable 6-3 center in Leo Carlson, and then kind of your more traditional goal scorer in Mika Zibanejad on the wing compared to playing the center position where he's not the best defensive player. I think Leo Carlson makes a lot more sense in that center position for that second line. This is a pretty gross second line. Third line, my doppelganger, Joel Eriksson X, centering Adrian Kempe, as well as Lucas Raymond. Joel Eriksson Eck, I have talked about him a lot, obviously. One of the best two-way centers in the entire NHL. Doesn't quite have that high offensive ceiling, so I'm going to throw him on a third line, more of a third line, not defensive line, because Kempe and Raymond aren't uh, selkie level guys, but still a solid two-way guy. Kempe, fantastic goal scorer, 40 goals last year, two years before that, 35 this year, yet again, having another solid season. Lucas Raymond, I could honestly see Raymond on that second line instead of like a Mika Zibidijad in two years. That is perfectly reasonable. Honestly, Maybe should have done that instead, but I still think Lucas Raymond in two years from now is going to be around the 75 to 80 point guy already on pace for his first season in the 60s this year. So a very solid third line. Fourth line. This is kind of a two-way line. This would be more your defensive line. William Carlson, not the most outstanding offensive player at this point, but is low-key having like a Selkie caliber season right now for the Vegas Golden Knights. Elias Lindholm, his play has definitely fallen off in the past two years compared to when he was centering uh Kachuk and Goudreau and he had 41 goals and 41 assists. It was absolutely insane. He is still going to be a solid player in two years. A very solid defensive center in my opinion. Probably a 2C. And then I got William Eklund. William Eklund obviously 2021 he went 7th overall. This year having a very solid rookie season. Really been picking it up especially of late. I think in two years he's going to be at least around the 60 point guy. So this is kind of your fourth line. Two, two, two way guys and then kind of an offensive spark plug in William Eklund on your fourth line over the defense first pair it's pretty funny that Rasmus Anderson's massive in this the Darlene's in the background but I got Rasmus Anderson and Ras Rasmus Anderson and Rasmus Darlene Rasmus squared we're calling this Rasmus squared I should have changed that for the first pair but I think these guys probably will be the best two-way defenseman in two years for Sweden they obviously have some older guys that I'm going to get to in this defense score but Rasmus Darlene in two years should be Arguably top five defenseman in the entire NHL, around point per game every single year. He's your star player, no doubt. And then Rasmus Anderson's a very solid two-way guy. I think he's been very underrated the last two to three years. He's only 26 or 20. No, he's 26 right now. So in two years, he's still going to be in his prime. He's still going to be a solid 55 to 60 point guy on a Flames team that'll probably be going through a rebuild. So I think these two are probably going to be your two best. And it just works out that Rasmus Anderson's a right-handed defenseman and Rasmus Dahlin is a left-handed. So put them together. That is your number one pair. Not really a debate in my opinion. The second pair, 
I got Brodeen and I got Eric Carlson, kind of like a yin, yin, yin and yang. Yes, Carlson is playing better defensively this year, but still more so known as that puck moving guy that gets up in the play and is an offensive threat. Then you got Brodeen, the perfect defense defenseman to play with a guy like Eric Carlson. So I think for your second pair, this would just be so balanced and so good in my opinion. So I think you trot these guys out in just have fantastic offense as well as fantastic defense, potentially. Third pair, a little bit of a weird one. This, these guys are both left-handed defensemen. There wasn't another right-handed defenseman that I loved, so I think I would just plug a Hampus Lindholm on the right side. I know that's easier said than done, but I think considering the, the drop-off to the guy uh, that that would be the right hand, the next right-handed defenseman up. I think it is big enough that you just ignore that. So when looking at it, Victor Hedman kind of has fallen off the last two years. What will he look like in two years at 35 years old? I still think that he could be a bottom pair defenseman, obviously on a national team, be a very solid two-way guy, even though his defensive numbers have kind of slipped up in recent years. And then Ampis Lindholm is only 29 or 30. He's still going to be a very good, either very either good top pair guy or a very, very good second pair guy. So I think the, this, this pair as a third pair guy more so defensively can be solid for Sweden while also offering some offense goaltending you can go with a bunch of guys here I ended up going with Linus Olmark and Jesper Wallstead Wallstead we're gonna see he is probably the highest goalie prospect in the entire NHL it's either Tim or Dustin Wolf so when looking at it I think in two years Wallstead probably will assume the starting role over a Philip Gustafson who we're gonna get to on the extras so I think Wallstead is gonna be a legit stud at 23 years old as well as Olmark He's going to be 31 or 32 years old, so he might fall off a little bit, but this is a guy with the Boston Bruins has posted like a 924 in his Boston Bruins career, and even this year in a down year still has like a 913. So I still think in two years, Omar's not going to be that 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 old, so I still think he can probably be the starter for this team considering there are some question marks in goal, some younger guys that are having a bit of a down year. So as of right now, I probably would go with Omar and Wallstead. In terms of extras, extras, I am going with Philip Gustafson, Matias Ekholm. Matias Ekholm is going to be like 36, so there's a little bit of concerns with that. M Michael Backlund, Mikel Backlund. I forgot how to pronounce that. Michael Backlund, Mikel Backlund. Who cares? Backlund. I got Gustav Borsling as my eighth defenseman. Then I got Alexander Holtz as a forward that I'm going to bring on this team. I think Alexander Holtz in two years could potentially be a 60-point guy. He's on pace for like 35-40, playing bottom six minutes right now. Lindy Ruff hates the guy. No power play time. So I think that Alexander Holtz could end up making this team in two years. Similarly to William Eklund, could offer a lot to this team potentially, especially if he continues to break out. Now, in terms of potential snubs for this team, I got him right here. Gustav Nyquist is having a very good season for the Nashville Predators, but he is starting to get up there in age, so I opted for a younger, a younger guy like an Alexander Holtz. And I just think Backlund's more established, a better two-way guy. We also got guys Guys like Oliver Ekman Larson, probably going to be too old. Nils Hoglander almost made the team. He's playing very good at five on five, but I do think someone like an Alexander Holtz or like a William Eklund will pass him in the next two to three years, considering they're a year or two, two years younger than him, as well as also guys like Fabian Zetterland. Solid player for the for the San Jose Sharks, but nothing special. Uh, Simon Holmes from my New York Islanders could potentially make the team if they're looking for a fourth liner that can kill penalties. Or fourth liner on this team, obviously. Holmes is not really a fourth liner on the Islanders. But a fourth liner that can kill penalties. I think Holmes would be a decent shout. Uh, Raquel just hasn't been good enough, especially this year. He's been pretty horrendous, especially at his cap hit. So I don't think in two years he's going to turn it around and make this team. Rasmus Sandin... Could potentially make it if guys like Ekholm, Hedman, uh, Carlson really fall off in the next two years. But as of right now, I opted for those more veteran guys. Uh, Silverberg, Olofsson, just not good enough in my opinion. Pierre Engvall, that'd be wild if Pierre Engvall ended up making the team. And let me see if I'm forgetting anyone else. No, I think that's Marcus Johansson, Eric Gustafson's up there in age. Alexander Wenberg's having a bounce back year, but wouldn't really be my pick. So yeah, that's it. Here's the full team. First line, pretty pretty, 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 pretty loaded. Second line, third line, fourth line, first pair, second pair, third pair, goalie tandem, and then we got our extras. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? What would your team Sweden look like? And I'll be seeing the next one. Let me know in the comments what team you want me to do next. I got to repeat it. I'll be seeing the next one.